Ah, the year is 2019, and we're going to discuss Grand Isle. Mm -hmm. Starring Nicolas Cage and Kelsey Grammer. Yes, kind yeah. of. I know you said it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my name is Brian Lee. To my left is. Brian. To my right is. Is really? Yeah, back with the Nick Cage movies. Um, yeah. As we discussed, not really discussed, like we said two seconds ago, uh, Kelsey Grammer is in this movie with a bunch of other people who I don't know. Hey, no. uh, I bought this one, so I will tell us what it is. This beer. Uh, hot cha cha! Milk stout from uh, Buckle Down Brewing. Where's that? Uh, what's this? Oh, in Lions, Illinois. Roar. Uh, brewed with chocolate, cinnamon, vanilla, lactose, and ancho chilies. It smells great. Does it? Yeah. It's good. Work hard. Work with your hands. Make great beer. I guess that's their we work fruit. hard. Ooh, <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would say they actually taste like everything that's on yeah, the label. That's good. Mm. I like that a lot. I really like that. I wish it was a little bit More thicker. spice? No. Oh. Thicker. A little thicker, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? I feel like... Thickness quality is yes. We don't know. Me too. <laughs> like thickness quality is thick. There's no measurement. <laughs> well, uh, I wish it was a millimeter more thick. That's not the tape measure. Vis viscous vis viscous viscosity. viscosity. What's that? What's that a measurement of? Uh, yeah. The viscous of the liquid. Yeah, I mean, I'm, don't they use that to describe oil and stuff? There's some oh, yeah, some yeah, science. Yeah, science, science, science yeah. And, uh, uh, I'm out of practice here. Um, so the uh, syn synopsis for Grand Isle, for those who have not seen this movie, yeah. it had come out in December of 2019, so relatively recent film. Mm -hmm. um, a young father is charged for murder and oh. must prove his innocence through recalling a very twisted and dark night of events. That sounds about right. Yeah. 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 Uh, the, <laughs> the plot keywords, according to IMDb, are pretty amazing. Hurricane! No. Dude, surprisingly. Okay. Um, singing in a bathtub. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The next one, yep. which is related, woman in a bathtub. Uh -huh. As she was. Husband-wife conflict. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Both of them. True. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Southern Gothic. Which, I mean, it took place in the South. Yeah, yeah. The house was old. Yeah. yeah. Nice house, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the last one, Horseshoe Mustache. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Which I was, I wish it was more pronounced, though. Yeah. 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 Agreed. Yeah. Can you grow one? A horse, you want a horse? Yeah. Um, horse you want, I should try. Shoe. My beard is so wonky, it doesn't like to grow. Like this side grows a little bit faster. Let my beard so grow! I wish. Make my monster grow! But I think, I'm, I think I might just start doing mustaches from now on. Just become a mustache. You guy. should! I think I should. No more beard. Just the straight up, the, the soup strainer, whatever they call it. You ever heard of that? <laughs> you never heard of it? The soup strainer? Yeah, from like, yeah, in The Simpsons, Ned Flanders, he called his mustache like the soup strainer or something. No, I think he calls it like, cookie duster. Yeah, that no, I he, heard. He has a bunch of different ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, that, yeah, soup strainer. You don't need to look it up. I need <laughs> to look it up because I will think about it the entire time. Hey, recording. Brian Brian. <laughs> Do you recommend Grand Isle? Uh, no. No. No, no. Hmm. Brian, do you recommend Grand Isle? I do not recommend Grand Isle. Hmm. Uh, I didn't mind it. Yeah, I didn't mind it either, but, um... Uh, yeah... I don't know. I don't know if I'd recommend it. It's not bad. Yeah. I was pleasantly surprised. Oh, yeah, it's not horrible. It's just I didn't... Didn't... It, it dragged, all, and... It didn't make me all Yukon Cornelius about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ned Flanders, I'll shave off the soup strainer if you uh, give the sailor talk the old heave-ho, okay? Oakley doakley. Talking about his Bible study group. Boom! Soup trainer. Okay, now I feel much better. It's like a weight was lifted off of me. Yeah, yeah. So and you said no, and you said yes. Yeah, sure, the fence. fence. We'll talk about it. And then Speaking of fence, yeah. hey, so there's a white picket fence, and right away this guy gets shot and falls through it. Yeah. By the way, um, he quotes out 
So uh, yes. Nick Cage shoots a uh, bur- burglar. He's getting burgled. Yeah, the burglar. Was, yeah. And uh, this takes place in the late eighties, nineteen eighty eight, I believe. Okay. Okay. I had no idea. It's news to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's there's a little title card that says oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's getting Nick Cage's getting burgled. The guy's like running out the you mm-hmm. know the front door, and Nick Cage's like. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. don't know if he said. He said, "Oh, no, yeah, you picked the wrong you picked the house to fuck with her." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you know, like the <laughs> the guy, the the burglar escapes by jumping out a window. Yeah, and yep. he's like booking it towards the fence, and then Nick Cage like shoots him in the back, and then falls through the white picket fence. Uh, but wait, isn't there some sort of law though to where? Like, does it, doesn't someone say, like, ah, if you're going to shoot someone, make sure you don't shoot them in the back, because, like, does, isn't it, like, a different... Can't you get charged? Yeah, there's something. Uh, really I think it's been state somewhere. to state. Oh. oh, yeah. New Orleans is kind of like the Wild West. Mm-hmm. Wild South. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so some guy shows up to uh, fix the fence. fence. Yeah, which... Oh, but <laughs> first off, that lady is creepy. Hmm. Uh, Nick Cage's wife? Yeah, when those two kids came up to the door and was like, yeah. they're trying to do stuff, and she's like, you are so beautiful. Like, and yeah. it was like, oh, I, don't I know am about beautiful, this. Yeah, yeah. man, what's it? I am beautiful in every single way. No. Well, and that was, uh, yeah, that scene was weird because, like, oh, would you like Girl Scout cookies? And the wife's like, I'll take two boxes. Right. Of what? Yeah, yeah. The, right. the Girl Scouts have a large variety yeah. of cookies. You can't just say two boxes. Like, yeah, clear so answer. I'm a kid, and I'm like, I don't know about this movie. It was very strange. Clear answer is the, uh, oh, what are the ones? Taglongs. Ta- Which one are the taglongs? Samoas? <laughs> Not like the Samoas. The, tag- the peanut the taglongs, I think they're the peanut butter. The peanut butter in the middle, and it's too cookie. Yeah, not yeah, the chocolate not covered. The chocolate okay, one. that was good too. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, tag yeah, tag along. yeah. and then um, a mint one. What's what's I those are thin mint? But, yeah, yeah, but those are yeah. That I like them, yeah, but the tag yeah, ones are better. If you have a favorite Girl Scout cookie, put them in the comments below. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm the only one who likes the shortbreads. Yeah, I don't like shortbreads. Oh, uh, with coffee, it's good. Uh, it reminds me of cake, but you also don't like. But yeah, because it's dry. That's why you dip it in the coffee. coffee yeah. Uh, then it gets soggy and gross. And what's a new flavor? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, was it a coconut one or something? Maybe it was. It wasn't crazy. bad. I also didn't mind that one. Crazy. Huh? Coconut now? They're fucking crazy. This is wacky. Uh, but yeah, so like when Buddy like goes up to quote like the fence, mm-hmm. $10 a picket? That's fucking... That seems... Malarkey. Yeah, like a lot. <laughs> Dude, a picket goes yeah. for like a buck thirty nine. Yeah. yeah, I was like, okay, this is. Yeah. That's 1988 prices. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe, uh, maybe did they include have... like painting and did he have to like make the shape or something? Well, because he said he said ten for the picket, but then he started saying and then this and then yeah. this. So like, I'm thinking it was just ten for the wood and everything else added on top. Because he was like ten for the picket, uh, two hundred dollars. Right. So it went from that to saying the total or like whatever it was. Yeah, it was. It was just a weird interaction. Yeah, and I thought Nick Cage like he's like, oh, if you get it done today, I'll give you. Uh, he's like, yeah. I'll give you two fifty, which yeah. I thought he would have given him more, but yeah, uh, whatever. Yeah, because then it's like nineteen eighty eight prices. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's your catch phrase. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. 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 I mean, it's a good year. Yeah. Uh, and it turns out that Nick Cage was in the Marines, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then Buddy was in yeah. the Navy. 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 Yeah. In the Navy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in. Nick Cage was in Vietnam, but he was in, they don't really say, but I assume one of the newer Middle East. Some, I guess, when they explained oh, wait, the, the uh, Iraq, like, bombed the yeah. ship he was on, and... The first desert storm, maybe? Possibly, I'm not... Uh, yeah. You know, I think that, was 90, that was 91, I believe. I think the 88, that was, that was the... I think 88 was... Like, Kosovo! The Iran Iraq war was happening at that time. Hmm. I think so. Yeah, I don't remember at all. It was too much. But did you guys like Nick Cage's laugh? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> laugh. that was great. Yeah, yeah. Like at the end, you like three or two times in a row. Like, oh, oh. yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, um. So while Buddy is Buddy, <laughs> I don't want to bomb out the name. Uh, while Buddy's working on the fence, the creepy wife comes out with the iced tea, mm-hmm. and it, I came to the conclusion that I don't like iced tea. 
like sun made really? iced tea. And as I said that to myself, I then remembered that we used to get jugs of the Lipton iced tea. Arizona iced tea. Ar- I'm sorry, Arizona iced tea. And while I thought of that, I texted our mother and I'm like, hey, remember when we used to get that Lipton, Arizona, <laughs> uh, you know, iced tea? She goes, oh yeah. And she reminded me of the time that she went, that it was on sale and Walgreens had it on sale and it was a limit of four. And she went to six different Walgreens and she came home with 24 gallons of uh, Arizona tea. Where did we put all Dude. Uh, In the garage, in the cabinets. Oh, when I walked through Walgreens? Why not like just, instead of like going to different Walgreens, why not just like have one of us go into the store and like get four or something? I mean, uh, I don't know. I just do like a lot of driving. Yeah. What were you saying, <laughs> I, When I, at Walgreens, I had to deal with those sales. People are vicious. When it comes to Arizona, my tea, <laughs> dude, they're like, "What do you mean you're out of the peach? The peach flavor, like?" Oh no, we just so, did the regular. Oh no, the they, diet. people would flip yeah, out if the stuff wasn't there and it was on sale. People would flip out because we would get cases of tea in, and I that was, but I was. But we did it. We we did the cat, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because you had the, the the Palmer one, the half and half Palmer, right. and all that, the peach, all that. And we would just stock up like crazy, and once you're sold out, people would just, they would flip out. Did you ever work at Walgreens, like, on a Black Friday? Dude, I worked at Walgreens Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Gross. I, I, yeah. But, like, I mean, like, any, like, crazy sale days? Yeah. Dude, all the sales Was it Was crazy. it nutty? Was Is Walgreens a nutty place yeah. for Black so Friday? So, what, what happens is... <laughs> God. So, cosmetics? Yeah, no, uh, so, the, the Black Friday thing, it's not really too crazy. It's more of Christmas Day is yeah, the same. Last minute, and, and like no, people, no, yeah. And people come with shopping carts, with toys, food. It's it's not. It was nuts. Uh, I was like, I was like seventeen when I worked. Yeah, and, oh, I remember. Don't give me a break that day. I was so pissed. Nine hours straight. That sounds like yeah, probably yeah, one right. of my least proud moments um, when I worked at Best Buy. Mm-hmm. My for the one Black Friday that I worked at Best Buy, yeah. uh, they had me come in at like four a.m. Gross. And they're like, because I was like a stock guy, yeah. And like I would change price tags. They're like, you're doing, you're just grabbing carts and helping people load up. So this is like when I was like a young, long-haired, fat metalhead kid. And I was just fucking angry. Like <laughs> it's just, I fucking hated it. And it's just like, so like I'm out there getting carts, and it was super shitty out. I remember this. Yeah. God, I couldn't have. I, Maybe I was like 18 or 17. I was, and I'm out there getting cards, and some fat lady swept on ice, and I'm like, nope. And I just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I don't fucking care. Dude, I was so fucking salty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not one of my prouder moments. No, no. I feel like I'm a yeah. better person. Now. Everyone has those every once yeah. in a while. That's fine. I kicked her in the fucking face. Yeah, I mean, it deserves. She shouldn't have fallen. If she right. Yeah, okay. she should have brought her own salt. Right. Yeah. 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 You got assaulted. The chains on your feet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Chain shoes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh yeah. So yeah, tea. Oh, but we from. Oh, so you don't like tea? Uh, sun dried, like sun made tea. Oh, uh, sun dried tea. Sun made. Yeah, that's yeah. my go to now. I'm trying to get away from the pop when mm-hmm. I go like, out to eat more. Yeah. So I'll get nice tea. Green tea, I fucking love. I like all tea. All teas. I go with all of them. I love Aldi as well. Yeah. yeah. I got my first matcha set. Oh, where from? Uh, just Amazon. Oh, nice. Came with the whisk and everything? Yeah, um, but it comes with the one little weird crab claw thing, which I assume is to like get your portions of matcha, but then it came with a big scoop, and I don't know what to do with the scoop. Maybe it's for bigger portions. It came with a nice little like napkin like thing, like it's like very ceremonial. Like, I'm the dude! You know, Key. <laughs> bringing matcha into the United States is very, very, very cheap. Really? Yeah, so if you paid a lot, it's because a lot of stuff that gets brought into the U.S. is like pennies on the dollar. And then uh, they it up here. There's a lot of different... Uh, um, this matcha I brought in was... Basically, there's Korean. there's some really shitty yeah, matcha shitty, that's and like really good. Really, yes, yeah. The mm-hmm. ones that I'm bringing in is the uh, not the super high grade, but like like the middle, to, mm-hmm. like middle to upper high grade. Yeah, yeah. It here's like I hear like ceremonial top. blend is a yes. very loose term. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I research matcha. It's 
So, Nick Cage sees... Mm. Yes. No, first, before all that, the the wife, remember the wife, Kate? And she's like, all like, ooh, look at me, I'm sexy. And Nick Cage is like, oh, I guess I'll just sit here. Oh, yeah, yeah, and he's sitting yeah. in the corner with sunglasses exactly. on? Exactly. And then she, like, gets up to him, and he doesn't do anything, and then she slaps him, and yeah. he's like, that was weird. Yeah. But did his sunglasses come off? Yes. 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 yeah. But he was sleeping. Yes. It was their anniversary. Oh, that's yeah. right, because she's doing the dumb fucking yeah. burlesque thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. If I, that was my wife, he's like, the tip cap and I'm just yeah. like, I'm like, oh, what the fuck are you yeah. doing? I don't know what's going on. I would get up and like, go. There like, are so many things that fucking drove me nuts. First, the stupid burlesque dance, and then she's singing that dumb fucking song, the fucking strange. The Billy Holiday? Yeah. 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 Uh, that was later, but still yes. weird. Yeah. Song. Still yeah. stupid. Well, you don't like, you don't like, you're not no. like jazz guy. Dude, anything where it goes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anything with like fucking or like oh, a sort of like yeah, sad brass dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, get over here, hey, I got a fucking fucking plunger thing on the end of my fucking blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Like You just say Dizzy Gillespie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? You just hate Dizzy Gillespie. Uh, he's one of them. Yeah, yeah. See the thing I grew up. With blues and jazz, like that was my grandpa. He, that's what he played. So I, I, I do like it because that's what it, I had. You know, I remember one of this my first so, CDs was Billy Holiday. Like when I hear it, just the life gets drained out of me. Well, you're not supposed to listen to it when you're like, "Hey, I'm having a great day. Let's put on some." But blues. you can't, you can't be like jovial to like blues. There's no, music. but how do you feel about like the happy jazz that's like played at, at like Portillos and shit? Um. Better worse if, if you have a say, beef. It tickles me. Cause it's just so like Oh ah, yeah, yeah. So it's super it's joking. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's hot to shot. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean Yeah. Yeah, like, that, that's also brass yeah. and sometimes has like the Right. Blah, blah, blah. I, right. I get why you don't like the 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 blues that's very like no, because it's it's Downer music. Like, it is. Yeah, that's what it is. That's why you don't listen to like, you know, I'm feeling great. Let's put blues on. No, you don't know. Maybe it's like the tempo. Yeah. I think it's the tempo. When you're in a bad mood or something happened and it's like, God, that was, oh, I'm just so whatever. Blues is good because. Now nah, listen to Enya. Oh, that's mm-hmm. fine too. Yeah, but I'm saying, Be well, that's what, yeah, blues, blues is good. That's why. And, Uh, also, while uh, Buddy, <laughs> we're still in the fence scene. <laughs> so while he's working on oh, it, yeah. Nick Cage, uh, oh man, this was comforting to me. So Nick Cage is sitting on the porch in a rocking chair yeah. with a fucking 12 pack of PR oh, bottles. Yeah. Scar, yeah. Dude, I'm just like, man, that's a fucking yeah. life, yeah. dude. Just on your yes. porch. Rocking chair in the south. Dude. <laughs> I would love it. I would love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would love it. I like, like great. And I'm, then he gets up and he puts the bottles on the fence. I'm like, yeah. This guy knows how to live. And then he shoots him with a rifle. Right right that? that that's the life. Life. Well, Buddy's fixing the pizza <laughs> yeah. right next to it. Yeah. Then I laughed at it. I thought that part was kind of funny. Just yes. because it was over the top. Yeah. Um, so, uh, the hurricane's uh, coming. Yeah. And Buddy's like, uh, he's not able to finish the fence. And uh, he... He needs to try and make it home to his wife and kid, yeah. but his truck won't start. Right, yeah. Um, yeah, and I thought that was so weird because, yeah, he goes back inside. He's like, oh, my truck won't start. But he's like, can I take your car? Yeah, that was it's weird. Like they just met. That's a very like, presumptuous yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 So I thought that was weird. It's, it's the South. That's true. It's South yeah, of town. Exactly. So, and... And I think Nick Cage even says, like, oh, I'm not going to have you take my Mustang Mach 1. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes sense. Yeah, back to trade, right. Yeah. yeah. Which he also says, back to a trade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that, but that's thing. So, like, yeah, I agree, Mustang, Mach 1, good car. But he just has it sitting outside during a hurricane. hurricane. Right. right. So he yeah. clearly doesn't care yeah, that much. 1988 yeah. prices. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it was like, I love the, the cliche of the, oh, the car doesn't start. Yeah, it's great. Which, yeah. I, do you think the wife did something to it? See, I thought Nick Cage did something to it. Yeah, I wasn't sure at first. Or was it just a shitty truck? Uh, I, I yeah. think that was actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they, so he's essentially stuck there at the he's house. Stuck there, and yeah. the wife's like, well, I'll just pay for dinner. Yeah, so he eat dinner, and then she puts their foot in his crotch, and then Nick Cage, like, what did he, didn't he, like, give a, not a freak out, but he, 
It was right, so she puts the foot in the crotch, and then he, like, something happened, he got up. I can't well, remember. No, well, and then I remember yeah. she gets up to, like, make the mint jubilees or whatever. Mint jubilee, yeah. Mint jubilee, yeah, mint jubilee, yeah. sorry. Yeah! It's the lamest mutant power ever. <laughs> I shoot Sparkles. fireworks! <laughs> well, now then she turned into a vampire. And what? Then she, now she's not a vampire anymore, I don't think. Yeah, she went through some shit. That, yeah, it's so she hard to keep up with comics. Well, what happened? So, dude, now... Gallagher and... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Hickman. <laughs> yeah, I think Hickman came in and he just changed all of X-Men. It's all done. Everything that happened, done. Now it's all brand new. The start, Dude, it's... I've read. I have it. I'll let you borrow it. It is so good. How come they never brought in the X-Men to the Avengers? Yeah, they did. Beast, oh, they did? Beast was part of the Avengers. Um... I know Cyclops' brother, whatever the his name, I think he was an Avenger. A lot Havoc? of them. Yeah, Havoc. Yeah, I think Havoc was an Avenger. Yeah, um, <laughs> Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. She. I don't think she was an X Men, but she definitely was an Avenger. Um, but yeah, there's there's crossing between Wolverine. He was. He was That's uh, the move right he, there. Yeah, he was Al, um, Alpatine. And I think, he, I think he was an Avenger as well. X Men. He was on X Force. Uh, he did. Yeah, he did. A, he was on a lot of teams. So after dinner. Um, before I get into that, does the wife talk funny? She, I, I don't know if she has a weird Louisiana accent naturally, yeah. or if she's trying to do a Louisiana I accent. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Because yeah. after post dinner, she's like, "How about I give you to a house?" And I'm like, yeah. "What?" <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, very weird. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. "The glitch matrix." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um. Yeah, uh, the and then like there's they kind of allude to that whole like ah what's in the basement? Yeah, you know, yeah, with, right. Like, three yeah. different. And then they show the yeah. rocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Then they go upstairs, and then she's all um like, have you ever been with an older woman? Yeah. Right. And yeah. He's, he's like, I can't say the hell, ma'am, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> why, uh, is it, why does it sound like the Golden Crisp? Can't go with the Golden Crisp. <laughs> Can't get enough of that golden crisp. That, that's my southern. That, that's every southern person is the golden crisp. Um, what is he? Uh, and that is he a bear? Wiggle. Yeah, he's a bear. It doesn't look like a shitty bear. Is he golden crisp still around? I don't think so. Yeah. What did, was it called? Sugar crisp? When it originally came out, but then I'm like, oh, I can't call oh, it sugar anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Or sugar smacks. Wait, with, with the frog? Who? That's Digum. Digum. Yeah. I don't like either of them. Yeah, I can, I can uh, give or take, doesn't matter, or leave it, or whatever. Uh, so it turns She's out... crazy. The yes. She's crazy. Yes, uh, and then it, Kira, then it later turns out that uh, there's this crazy plot twist where Nick Cage wants uh, Buddy oh, to yeah. kill his wife, and he's like, I'll give you $20,000. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which, that was kind of like... Not suspenseful, but I liked it was a little it. more yeah. dramatic because it was like you didn't know and they, they hung on it well, just so, long enough. So that's why I didn't mind this movie is that I never knew where it was going, and that's what bugged me because I'm like pick pick a direction because I like movies that like you don't know where because of of uh, suspense or th- like a thriller yeah. or like drama. But to me, it was like I, okay, so I'm in the basement. That's weird. I know that this she might die. Like it kind of but. It kind of leaves it up to... I mean, they don't say right away whether it's like Nick Cage has weird shit in the basement or does she have weird shit in the basement? Right, or are they, they together? together? Right, yeah. right, right, right. I figured it was either her or both. I didn't think it was Nick Cage at all. Hmm. Yeah. That's just what I, my, I was thinking. Right. Like I said, it wasn't a bad movie. I just feel the writing should have been tighter. Like, it should have been more of a, oh, wow. <laughs> that kind of reaction, like, oh, ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah I, so, you, know what I, you, know what, you know what I'm trying to say? He, I, right. I, will, I will say at the I end, wasn't really shocked by any of it, even when you found out what was in the basement. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I will say at the end, I feel like there could have been, the big moments could have been bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like they should have, like, to make it, to give the movie a more of like a, oh, kind of yeah. fucked up fact, they should have shown some shit in the yes, basement. It, yeah. I mean, maybe that's the twisted part of no, me. No, really, they, yeah, because that would have been like, holy crap, they, look what they did. Right. Instead, it was like, oh, I heard what they did. 
It's like when you hear the news, like, oh, that sucks that whatever happened, that crash happened. Right. But you're, you're not a part of it. When you see it, you're like, even if you yeah. see it, you're like, oh, my God, like that kind of thing. And that would, I think, showing the basement stuff would have yeah. been. Yeah, like maybe if, like, when Buddy was trapped, maybe he goes down there and he sees everything right. and he freaks out. Right. Like, maybe yeah, that would have like been that. more. Yeah. Maybe, like, maybe instead of her, like, the woman just screaming and not really doing anything. The at the end, cop at the end, at the end, like yeah, she really officer. didn't try to stop we can, anything. Let's go forward a little bit. So, like when, so when they finally get the search warrant to, you know, yeah. search the house. Yep. So, you know, there's the lady cop, weird mustache cop, and then yep. two other cops. They're like, you two go search the house, and we're yeah. gonna hang here. Yeah. And then they just the the Nick Cage, the wife, and then the two cops just stand there, and they yeah. just awkwardly stand so, there. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, why don't you like? Interrogate him. Yeah, like, oh. it was really weird. That was really Wait, weird. Sit down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, something. it's like they didn't know what to make, make them do, so they're like just stand there for a bit. It just was very really strange. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, so he, the, um, Buddy finds a kid too. I was. I don't know if he was a yes. kid that was shot. So, no, that was the kid from the, yeah, the beginning. beginning. So Nick Cage <laughs> takes aim. I saw so, in a cloth with him. Chinese or Japanese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was, that was good. That was good. That was good. But Nick Cage is taking aim at this kid with his gun for a good ten seconds. Now this is a trained. Well, marine. you gotta line up your fucking sight. But, but he's a trained marine. That's bullshit. No one could have made that shot. No, I'm sorry. There's no way Oswald could get off three shots that fast. But this is my point. My point. Nick Cage, trained marine. Yes. Lining up a shot to make sure he gets him good. Right. Shoots him. Right. The guy falls. Yeah. He's alive. And the house just yeah, sitting there. Yeah, but you know. Are we talking about the burglar from the beginning? Yes. Yeah. Oh, but was they said, no, they said he was hooked up to IVs and stuff. So my thought was that they were keeping him alive. Because all the prisoners that they had were. So and we're, maybe we're, we're maybe, assuming the kids like got him in the shoulder. Is that what we're assuming? Yeah, yeah like, maybe he yeah. maybe had the intent not to kill him okay. yeah. to keep him alive. Okay. Yeah. yeah so well, they like, say they, they, name and they say I forget if it's like a radio broadcast or whatever, but they say that like they kept the people alive to make babies, which is a weird twist. Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, because she wanted kids, because she yeah. can't have that right. medically. <clears throat> oh, uh, pardon. Yeah. Opposed to what? Magically? <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Get out of a hat. Yeah, exactly. No, again, the Cabbage Patch, bro. Oh, those are always so weird. Not them, the actual babies. Uh, what do you yeah, mean? the Cabbage Patch kids. They were weird looking. They were weird looking, yeah. This, this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have any yeah. more. So I put here, this is weird, what's the point? But that, you guys... After talking about it, now right. I'm getting it more understanding. So, I mean, I guess basically the reason why I do like this movie is that I think Nick Cage is good in it. Yeah, like, yeah, he I didn't fits mind it well. Yeah, and I feel like Kelsey Grammer is good. In this. I like Kelsey Grammer. In like anytime he's on yeah. screen, I was like, yeah, yeah. Kelsey Grammer. I feel like he was made to play that part. Really? Yes, yeah, I agree. exactly. I love yeah. how he went from the I'm a God fearing, yeah, you know, yeah. attorney. Mm -hmm. That is trying to help you, and then all of a sudden he just did a one eighty and was like, "He's like, you're a fucking piece of shit, mm -hmm. and I know I'm right." Yeah. And when he when he bent down, he's like, "I know I'm right." I was like, "It's done, like, right?" It's just like that. He convinced me that there was no way that that kid was that buddy was gonna convince them. Yeah, like yeah. He, Kelsey Grammer was such a good actor that he convinced me just that one real level. thespian. Exactly, yeah. That means he likes what I like. You know, yeah? Okay, good. <laughs> um. uh, what do you guys think about the ending? With the uh, Nicolas Cage in the parking lot with the gun? Feels alright. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that was another one. Oh, wait, no! Hold on! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How? Okay. All these cops. <laughs> they're fucking, you know. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, how how does Buddy get shot in that whole thing? Like, who has the fucking terrible aim? Oh, I mean, it's 1988. Sight turn is good. Back well, the way I, the way I see it is like Nick Cage is in the middle holding them. And the cops aren't oh, just... I thought you were going to do me yeah, yeah. Well, Well, Nick, Nick Cage, they're not just straight in front. They're, like, kind of curved around. Yeah. So I think, I, I think a cop trying to shoot Nick Cage this way hit Buddy that yeah. was right there. That's why I, I know. It was... 
I know. But I mean, he got in the shoulder. Yeah. So like, it could have been like, oh, it was. I missed the by a couple yeah, of it. Yeah, it's yeah. I'm, yeah. Maybe we don't know what. I don't know what I wrote here, but anyways, <laughs> it was that one line at the end. Is like, oh, you might not know your neighbors. You might not know. Oh your neighbors. yeah. It was almost. Oh. Like, uh, yeah. Well, I'm it, like, come on! Now you're just like, and they yeah, yeah, say or something. Well, yeah. Well, no. It's they made it sound like it's supposed to be like a radio broadcast, but it's like right. no <coughs> radio news was, is uh, gonna say it. It was exactly. very preachy. Right? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's like I don't. I, yeah. But that, was, I agree. Yeah. The thriller and suspense movies do that at the end. It was yeah. like, oh, hey, man, this is the moral. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, don't give me a moral. I want. I want to be Ron. I want to be the. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, man. You Whoa. uh so do you still not recommend Grand Isle? Do, wait, does anyone else have any more notes? No, I I'm, I'm the end. Do you do you still not recommend Grand Isle? Now I'm on the fence kind of with it after talking about it and you making some good points. I'm gonna say yes, I recommend it. I would I'd I'd still say no, but I think if like you like you're with a bunch of people and you just want to put a movie in or something, this would be a good movie to watch with others because you can point out, like, ah, that lady said house weird or, like, this is this or, you know what I mean? Like, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> then you can laugh over it because mm -hmm. that's where I'm at with it. Okay. I right? still, mm, still mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, especially compared to a lot of his more recent work, I think this is, a, this is an okay movie. <clears throat> I'm not in love with it, but it's, you know. I'd rather watch Color Out of Space a hundred times before this. I don't know. I really feel if you two either read or listened to that uh, Lovecraft story, you'd have a better appreciation for the movie. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, or you can. You can just um, be a savage, uncivilized person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you rate the beer? Oh, boy. <laughs> this was oh. really good. Yes. One of my, like, well, I like the lactose beers, but I think this is, yeah, I'm going <clears> to <throat> give this a 4.5. Wow! It's a 4.5. Holy crap! Yeah. It wouldn't get a 4.75 if it had more of the ancho chili bite at the end. Yeah, I wish it had a bit more Yeah, it, That would be, yeah, yep. but yeah, 4.5 for this. Um, God, so. I, I really, really do like it. I do wish it was a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I'm gonna give it a 4. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm still pretty happy with it. Yeah. Christopher. I agree. 4.0. Ah, that'll do it for this episode. Uh, I don't think we have anything else. And, uh, next time we'll be back to our uh, loose cannon. Loose cannon. Loose cannon. And, so, and another beer. Ah, I gotta pee. Thanks for checking out this week's episode. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, tell a friend.